this end, ladies and gentlemen, the minority makes the following demands. One, government must publicly react to this inquiry by the Libyan Attorney General's office due to its grave ramifications to Ghana's image. Two, government must provide the needed assurances to Ghanaians and our international security partners that this matter is receiving very high level attention within a Ghana-Libya counter-terrorism framework and a global fight against terror. Three, Ghana must take steps to ascertain to what extent the Ghanaian nationality claims in the report is accurate. It is possible that other nationals are holding themselves as Ghanaians, maybe using Ghanaian passports. So we are not making any judgments at this press conference, but we want government to take action to look into this matter to find out if indeed the report by the Libyan Attorney General's office is accurate, and if indeed all the people who have been captured claiming to be Ghanaians are indeed Ghanaians. Four, Ghana's national security apparatus must exchange intelligence with their Libyan counterparts on how these Ghanaians, if indeed they are Ghanaians, are being recruited and radicalized with a view to eliminating all such threats and conduits. Five, government must put measures in place to ensure that none of these alleged Ghanaian Islamic state fighters are allowed to return to Ghana without strict security clearance and surveillance. Six, government should consider establishing a generous and enticing reward scheme for families, friends, and loved ones who volunteer vital and credible information on any known ISIS ties of their loved ones, either living in Libya or being recruited to go to Libya. Seven, government should provide details of all steps it is taking to work with other friendly countries who have previously provided intelligence support to monitor all terrorist recruitment activities. And finally, government should engage religious leaders of both Muslim and Christian groups to get them to reach out to their congregations and develop programs within the organizations to create awareness of attempts to radicalize young people and to prevent them from falling prey to ISIS propaganda.